Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to another episode of Parasitology series. Today I'll talk about tinea sejunata. In my recent videos, I've talked about cestodes and tinea solium. Go watch those videos first, then you will have a great grip on the intestinal worms. Let's dig into it. Tinea. The genus tinea has two important pathogens. Tinea solium, also called as pork tapeworm, and tinea sejunata, also called as beef type form. Teniasis. It is a disease that is caused by the tinea. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it has two pathogens, the tinea solium and tinea saginata. Tinea solium is responsible for causing teniasis, partially its adult worm and its larvae are responsible for causing cystosicosis. On the other hand, tinea saginata only causes teniasis. It is not involved in causing cystosicosis. Tinea saginata. It is a beef tapeworm. It is a zoonotic tapeworm, like it infection gets from an uh, animal into the human being. And it belongs to the order Cyclophyllidae and genus Tinea. It is an intestinal parasite in humans, and as I mentioned earlier, it is responsible for causing only teniasis. Lecture outline. I've introduced Tinea saginata to you guys. Now we'll talk about its morphology. Habitat and transmission, life cycle, pathogenesis and epidemiology, clinical findings, lab diagnosis, immunity, treatment, and finally the prevention. Morphology. It has three forms. First one is eggs. The second one is larvae. And the third one is the adult worm. Let's talk about eggs first. Uh, an egg is liberated by the rupture of ripe proglottids. I'll talk about what are the proglottids a bit later. The shape of the egg is spherical and it is like about 31 to 43 micrometers in diameter. It is brown in color and it has two coverings. One is inner and the other one is outer. And inside these coverings, um, it has an oncosphere that is about 14 to 20 micrometers uh, in length with three pairs of hooklets. Then comes the larvae. It develops from six hooked embryo, the oncosphere, hatched from an egg. It is also called cysticircus. And the larvae of Tinea saginata, as I mentioned earlier, is not involved in causing cysticircosis. Remember that. It has a pea-sized fluid-filled bladder and invaginated scolex. And it takes about three months to become an adult womb adult womb. It is about 10 meters in length. It is long, segmented, tape-like. Um, its segments are called proglottids and the mature segments containing eggs are gravid proglottids or the uterine branches. It is white or semi-transparent in color. The body of adult worm has three parts. The first one is collex, then we have neck, and the third one is the gravid proglottids. Uh, Scolex has four suckers which help the worm to um, stick to the wall of the intestine. Unlike Tinea solium, it has no hooklets. It has uh, about 15 to 25 primary uterine branches and the gravid terminal proglottids contain many eggs. And when those eggs are passed in feces, those become a diagnostic thing for us. Uh, its neck is straight an unsegmented region and it has high regenerative capacity habitat human beings are the definitive host in which adult worms live in small intestine and intermediate hosts are cattle cow buffaloes in which cysticercus bovis lives in muscularis tissue especially muscles of tongue neck shoulder and hamstrings transmission transmission occurs via fecal oral route or by eating raw or undercooked beef. Life cycle. The life cycle of Tinea saginata involves two stages, the human cycle and the cattle cycle. Human cycle. In the small intestine, larvae attaches to the gut wall with the help of the suckers. Yeah. And it takes about three months to grow into an adult worm, which is about 10 meters in length. And then the gravid proglottids um, containing eggs detach and they detach daily and are passed in feces and are eaten by cattle and then and then the cattle cycle starts cattle cycle the embryos oncosphere emerge from the eggs in the cow's intestine and they burrow deeper into a blood vessel 
where they are carried to the skeletal muscles of the cows. And in the muscle, they develop into cystisocci. And this cycle is completed when the cystisocci are ingested by human beings. Diagrammatic representation of life cycle of tinea saginata. When eggs or gravid proglostids are passed in feces, they are introduced into the environment. And then they are ingested by cattle in case of tinea saginata and by pigs in case of tinea solium. Then these organisms become infected uh, with this infection and the oncosphere uh, penetrate which are hatched from eggs into the intestinal wall and circulate towards the musculature and then in the muscles they develop into cystisocci and when this undercooked uh, meat is eaten by a human being it gets infected with teniasis and in case of uh, tinea solium it gets two types of infection one is teniasis and the other one is cystisocosis pathogenesis little damage results from the presence of the adult worm in the small intestine unlike the tinea solium tinea saginata does not cause cystisocosis epidemiology this infection is most common in us and it occurs worldwide but is endemic in africa south america and eastern europe and it is frequent in those areas where cattle have access to human feces and the consumption of raw or undercooked beef is common. Clinical findings. Most patients with adult tapeworms are asymptomatic, but uh, malaise can occur, which is a general feeling of discomfort, illness, or unease whose exact cause is difficult to identify, but in this case the cause is tinea saginata. Mild cramps can occur. In some patients, proglotids are found in stools. And these proglotids may even protrude from anus. And uh, the proglotids are motile and may cause pruritus any, and they move on the skin adjacent to the anus. You know, guys, what is pruritus any? It is a dermatological condition that causes itching in the anal area, which may become worse at night or after a bowel movement. Scratching could result in damages or infection. Symptoms may include itch. Lab diagnosis. We need samples like stool and uh, a perianal swab. Identification of tinea saginata consists of finding gravid proglotids with 15 to 20 uterine branches in the stool. And we do this all under the microscope. And eggs are found in the stools less often than proglotids. Immunity. Research shows that type 2 immune response generates against the infection caused by tinea saginata. Treatment. The treatment of choice is praziquantel, niclosamide that is a drug of choice, or dichlorophen. Prevention. Prevention involves cooking beef adequately, proper disposal of human feces and wastes so that cattle cannot consume human feces and meat inspection in slaughterhouse is necessary. Let's review everything real quick. The organism name is Tinea saginata. Its mode of transmission is by eating undercooked meat and the presence of larvae in that meat. And its intermediate host is cattle and the definitive host is human beings. And the main sites affected in human body is the intestine. And the diagnosis is like we all found proglotids in stool. And the treatment of choice is the praziquantel. And it has no insect vector. And the stages that infect human are the larvae in the undercooked beef. And the stages in humans most associated with the disease uh, is the adult tapeworm in the intestine and the important stage outside the humans is the larvae in the muscle of the cattle and that's it for today's video i hope it made sense i hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something don't forget to connect with me on all of my socials i've got my instagram i've got my twitter and i rarely upload blogs so don't forget to check that out and that's it till next time assalamu alaikum